Well, a really important and special event is going on in Southfield right now. It is a bunk bed build. Once the twin beds are finished, they're going to go to families in need with kids across Metro Detroit. Our Simon Shaykhead has been there this morning. What are you showing us this time around, Simon? It's been nice to see the progression of this process. Yeah, that's right, Anu. This is remarkable. All these people, dozens of people, woke up this morning to make a difference. They've been chainsawing, hammering uh, the screws in, into these bunk beds. Also, you can see they just kind of got a flow going from one end of the room to the other. Now, at this point, I want to show you kind of one of the final steps. This is where they dip it into sort of like a vinegar solution to seal this wood. And you can see what's being done here. These are kind of like the headboards and the footboards that are going to go to put these bunk beds together and there's a top bunk and a bottom bunk, and then they finish it off outside. It really is a, a special thing for these people to come together and support one another and support the kids that need a bed to sleep in. Wendell, uh, talk to me about, you know, just how you got everyone together here this morning. Well, uh, Stefanini uh, put on the event for us. They uh, offered their lobby here, which is under construction, which was perfect for us to do this. Um, and uh, th we pulled it all together with their volunteers and uh, a few other friends. Yeah, you definitely got the word out. We can see, you know, 60, 65 people here. Um, how long does it take to make one of these bunk beds from start to finish? Um, I start to finish time-wise, I always uh, go by amount of bunks. So for doing 10 bunks, it takes about three and a half hours. Wow. So that's and, from start to finish. And where will these bunk beds, uh, how do you determine how these bunk beds are distributed to those in need? Uh, what they do is they go to our website, shbbeds.org, and they apply on there, and we get a list of the, the requesters, and they're all over Metro Detroit that uh, do the request, and we do a first-come, first-serve basis. And how long will you be out here through the rest of the day? Uh, I'll probably be here till maybe uh, mid, late afternoon. Okay. Uh, we'll be taking a trip uh, back to our storage for the the beds that are built, and then next week we'll start delivering. It's so impressive to see people of all ages here. We've got little kids, we've got the parents, grandparents, everyone's helping out. Uh, I know you guys, kudos to you for some terrific work. And of course, if somebody still wants to donate some bedding or something like that, they can do so by, by contacting you? Yes, uh, they can contact us uh, we on our Facebook page, Sleep in Heavenly Peace dash MI, uh, Western Wayne County. Or they can call me, 734 331 0567. Okay. All right. Thanks for making a difference, Wendell. And you can see they are continuing to be hard at work out here. They'll be busy for a few more hours. For now, we'll send it back to you in the studio, Anu. Yeah, they're doing great work, Simon. And I love to see that there are so many ways you can help out. Thank you.